Another deadly crackdown is looming in Egypt. Ever since the military ousted President Mohamed Morsi four weeks ago, his supporters from the Muslim Brotherhood have been staging sit-ins. Well, today, Egypt's new leaders ordered the police to clear the protesters out. What happens next could well come down to the action of one man, and Clarissa Ward is in Cairo with our report. The most popular man in Egypt was sworn into power a year ago by President Mohamed Morsi, the very man he ousted on July 3rd. General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is now widely regarded as this country's savior for ridding Egypt of a deeply unpopular president. Here on the streets, vendors are doing a brisk business in anything with Sisi's face on it. He is now so popular that many people are asking whether he is poised to become the Arab world's next military strongman. Last week, Sisi called for mass protests and hundreds of thousands turned out. We saw people fighting to get posters of their hero. Sisi claims he has turned over power to a civilian government, but his popularity has raised questions about his own political ambitions. Retired General Sama Saif al Ghazal isn't worried about that. He will not be involved at all. He will not run for the office. Take my word. I'm for sure? He told me that, personally. Sisi already holds three of the most powerful jobs, commander of the armed forces, defense minister, and deputy prime minister. Today, Egypt's military-backed government ordered the breakup of the Muslim Brotherhood's protest camps. There have been two mass killings of Morsi supporters in the past few weeks, but General al Yazal said it will be the Muslim Brotherhood's fault, and not Sisi's, if things turn bloody. Do you think this can be resolved peacefully? No. I think they want uh, es to escalate the situation. They want lots of blood. And will they get it? I know quite well that the police will try definitely to uh, make it the easy way, not the hard way. But I'm, I'm sure they will not do it the easy way. I'm sure they will, they will like the hard way. Clarissa Ward in Cairo. Uh, Clarissa, how did the uh, Muslim Brotherhood react to all of this? Well, Bob, the Muslim Brotherhood has said that it is not frightened by today's announcement. A spokesperson for the group has accused the government of being, quote, hungry for more blood. They argue that their protest is peaceful. Uh, they reject the accusation that they pose any kind of a security threat. And they've said that any attempts to try to disperse those protests will only harden their resolve. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Carissa.